I can remember when I was uh, 12 or 13. I think the movie, well, I think the movie come out in 1975. So I'm going to say it was 1975, so I had been 12 years old. And as a family, we all sat down to watch the movie Walking Tall, the final chapter. Buford Pusser. Buford Pusser. And uh, I knew what a sheriff was, but... You know, I was a little young to understand all details. I remember my dad explaining it to me as we was watching a movie. <laughs> my dad basically said he was a sheriff that took no shit. Six foot six, ex-marine. And uh, now, you know, at the toward the uh, at the end of the movie, you know, he was killed in a car accident. He was killed. He lost control. On August 21st, 1974, lost control of his car and he was, uh, he hit an embankment, thrown out of the car. And, they, you know, they, they got his uh, shoes in the museum that he was wearing when he died. His uh, daughter, Duena, was behind him in another car. She seen the wreck and she, uh, of course, got out of the car, went up to him and he was incoherent. He was still alive. Uh, incoherent. He was mumbling something and passed away there. But uh, do I think that he was got rid of? Well, he had been at a fair and it was around midnight. So he's probably tired out. Oh, there's that 50-50 chance. But I'm thinking that he was just driving too fast. And just lost control. Now, I, I remember my when uh, when he was killed. I remember my dad saying, you know, all the good ones uh, they're always taken out, and and I took it that he was still in office. And if, no, uh, my my dad made it sound like that uh, he was killed in office. No, no, no. Uh, if, if he was killed, if he was taken out because he was afraid he'd be reelected, but he had to wait two years. But he served full term. Sorry for the uh, traffic noise. He served full term. He served full term, 1964 to 1970. 64 to 70. And I didn't know that. Uh, you know, just a few years back. But, I, you know, the way my dad acted, you know, I just, I don't know why I took it that way. But, no, he served full term. And uh, he was killed four years later. So, I'm just thinking, if he was taken out, they just didn't want him to get reelected. He lost to Clifford, um, what's the guy's name? Oh, uh, he almost got reelected. Uh, the votes were so close, he had to recount them. So, Buford Puster almost got a second term. But uh, in the movie, you know, uh, he said, yeah, I'm scared. I mean, he took no shit, but yet he was scared. I think that's just normal. If, you, if you're if you not scared, there's something wrong with you. But uh, I don't think there will ever be another Buford Pusser. I think police today are too afraid. They're too weak. It doesn't matter how big the badge is. That has nothing to do with it. It matters how big you are inside if you're not afraid of course any more families are threatened the whole nine yards so now there'd never be another Buford Pusser he just simply didn't take shit from you <laughs>